Right, so, hello well, folks, today oh. we're going to be splitting this gearbox, so my lap bull is just playing a So, it's your off, okay? <laughs> right, so we're basically we're going to be splitting this gearbox, getting it ready for going into the Octavia. So, I have taken off the drain plug, which was a 10 mil Allen key head, and I've taken that off, drained the gearbox. And whilst taking the end cap out, I'll show you how to do that once I get the new end cap there. And, right. Right, so what took me so long to just do there was getting this circlip the focuses. Getting this circle out of that slot inside there. That's absolute nightmare to get. Just shared one of the bolts, T45, they're aluminium and they are an absolute nightmare to get out once you share it. So I tried T50, I tried um, splines, tried everything, then ended up having to hammer a 15mm socket over the outside of it, which just about took it out. So it is ready to split now. Basically, all I need to do is lift this up straight up and she comes out. Perfect. I had to pry this first. So, pry it up and the steam is on the inside of the air. So, try to have to clean off before it closes up again. But, the reason I have to split this is because I need to put a brass insert in here. Which I'll put pressure on this here. So I'll put pressure on that to hold that in position because the amount of torque going through these gears, the gearbox can't take the torque that the car has. So it's basically just a brass support that sits in here. You can tighten it up, nip it up, and it'll hold that in position. So yeah, I'll just have to wait now until I get the gearbox out and then I can start modifying it in position. So, have her up on the lift. Now, I need to figure out where all this oil is leaking out of as well because it's quite bad. So, yeah, get all that out and just show you. Now, oh. Oh yeah, I need to sort out my exhaust leak as well. Up at the turbo, so I'll probably take that out and I need to sort out this hanger as well because I had to do that on the ground and it was extremely uncomfortable. And it's not really being held there at all. Yeah, you can see it's pretty shit. But yeah, I get that sorted out.
All right, so we have the gearbox is nearly ready to drop out. There's one bolt holding it in, just waiting on help. So I can actually lift it down because they are heavy. But I'm gonna show you how to take out this end cap while I'm here. So basically all you gotta do is jab a screwdriver. It's kind of hard to do this while trying to. There we go, jab a screwdriver to the middle of it. And you're gonna have to pry it out, which might take a while. So I'm gonna leave it there while I pry it out. Now, uh, it should just come out. So these are replaceable parts. You have to replace them every time you want to split the gearbox. I have to split the gearbox to get this off. This is the thing from dark side that I was on about, the brass insert. So there's a aluminium box basically, and the brass insert is behind this. So basically just screws. You can tighten that up, tighten that up, and then just nip that, and it'll hold it in place. And you can just keep adjusting that as you need. But this gearbox is too far gone when I built it. So yeah, that's why I've got the new gearbox. All right, so old gearbox is out, and I have it split. Yeah, I got new. Slave cylinder, concentric one, but yeah, just sent the wrong part. So I'm gonna have to um, probably reuse the old one. Hopefully not, but it's looking that way now. Because I need the car back on the road for Tuesday. Right. So yeah. Well, anyway, it's uh, yeah, yeah. That's why there's a new gearbox going in. Now, I'm not sure where the chunks came off, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a few of them there. So, the gearbox is scrap. I'm gonna have a look around and see if we can find where they came off because I'm interested to see. Okay, so I found where those chunks are off. See right in there. That is not meant to look like that. Yeah. See? I found more chunks as well. So, nice. Thank God I'm replacing this anyway. So, I have all the mods done on the gearbox case and now. So, I have that drilled out, screwed on, and I have those two drilled out and screwed on as well. So that is the casing for the brass insert. And I have silicone on the center there. So basically all you do is marking 54 from the outside of that case to the very edge of this, that edge there, and then Line that up, drill out the center, then drill out the four holes on the back for that, and screw it all together. So I have silicone on both sides, just to make sure. And I to break off the reverse center as well. And I have two wires there just to replace it because it gets in the way of this. And I have these Loctited in, red Loctite, so they're just uh, just waiting for them to dry now. That will be holding that bracket there it's to stop the um, vibrations going through the gearbox. Makes it uh, not crack and break. Because these gearbox are known for doing that. So, yeah, so basically I'm gonna get it. Just get it all, have it all cleaned out as well. All the swarf off, it's important to do that. So I'm gonna get the gasket sealer and I am going to mount it back onto the gearbox. All right, I didn't get to run through this last time I was videoing because my phone died. And yeah, anyway, so basically all I did to finish off was just put 
sealant around this edge all the way around there and then torque up the screws I think I think it was 35 newton meters for the screws so basically I just done them in, in order I went here and then went uh, over here then just kept alternating like that until it was fully tight I didn't go straight to 35 newton meters just tighten them all a bit and then torque them up afterwards but yeah that's basically it the end cap just grab a mallet, line it up, line it up as best you can, grab a mallet and just tap it in. That's all I had to do for that. This is the old clutch plate here. Um, there's still, as you can see there, there's still a good bit of meat on it. But it's all glazed over so I'm going to have to get that sent off. And I am going to get it re, um, get the paddles re done. So that'll be sent over to England. Precision clutch components over in England that do it. Yeah, so it's an A paddle clutch. I get it sent over there and they'll change the paddles for me and send it back. I think it's like 200 quid for just the clutch plate itself. It is a dual mass flywheel that's still in the car because as it's four wheel drive, I don't want the rattling and yeah, ruining the gearbox. Cause I've enough gearbox problems as is. So, yeah. Anyway, the new gearbox is in. It's working 100% for now. We'll see how long it lasts this time. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just shoot them down in the comments and get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.